For business news videos and insights, check out the O2 Business blog by clicking the link on screen or in the description below. Hey guys, welcome to BTech. Gina here with our very first weekly wearable roundup. It's a brand new feature we're bringing and we take a look at what is hot and what is not in the world of wearables. We're teaming up with our very good friends over at wearable.com to bring you a news roundup, head-to-head -head tests, competitions and how-to guides. So if there's any wearable in particular you would like us to take a look at, make sure you drop it in the comments section below and while you're at it, why not hit subscribe? That way you won't miss any of your weekly wearable news. Why not kick this feature off with some of the most exciting wearable news I have seen in a long time. Samsung has filed a patent for a smartwatch keyboard which projects onto your hand. Smartwatch keyboards are always too niggly and fiddly to be even worth it. Try typing a text on there and you will see what I mean. But this one, it projects onto your hand and you can actually type on your hand. I don't know, it sounds pretty sci-fi to me but I am excited to see how this one turns out. Android Pay has finally hit the UK. And while this is not quite a wearable story just yet, if you have a NFC enabled Android Wear smartwatch, then you may want to listen closely. It could be coming to your wrist in the near future, hopefully, depending on how fast Android Pay is gonna move because it took long enough to get here just on our smartphones. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to get to our wrists and then it can be an actual contender against the Apple Watch and Apple Pay. Android VR is coming and it's expected to be announced at Google I.O which kicks off today in California. There's been rumors swirling around about what Android VR is actually going to entail, but the popular consensus seems to be that it will be a standalone VR headset, which means you won't need a smartphone to use it. The keynote kicks off in a few hours, so all will hopefully be revealed soon. Back to Samsung and the company has created something called a blind cap. It's a swimming cap for blind swimmers and sends a small vibration alert through the cap to the swimmer when they've reached the end of their lap, letting them know it's time to turn around. It's made with elite swimmers in mind and the Android app page is currently inviting athletes to sign up as testers. And finally, Fitbit has cemented its place as king or queen, whichever you prefer, of the wearable market with research company IDC showing that Fitbit sold 4.8 million devices within the first quarter of this year. The Fitbit Ultra and the Fitbit Blaze take responsibility for almost half of those sales. Chinese company Xiaomi comes in second with Apple taking the third spot. So that's your wearable roundup for this week. Let us know what you liked, what you didn't, and for a more in-depth look at wearables, be sure to head over to wearable.com. Thanks for watching BTEC, and I will see you all again on Friday. For business news videos and insights, check out the O2 Business blog by clicking the link on screen or in the description below.